Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. And today we have some pretty amazing news. Medieval 2 Total War The Strategy Classic is coming to mobile on iPhone and Android this spring. So in the next few months, Feral Interactive, again, the same company who brought Rome Total War, uh, Barbarian Invasion and the Alexander Campaign to mobile in the last few years, is doing Medieval 2 as well. So. Uh, uh, the reason why I want to make this video is because I think this is a precursor. This is a pretty good sign that Feral Interactive, based on the success of Medieval 2's porting to mobile, will be working on a Medieval 2 remastered in the next year. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at the timeline for the release of Total Wars being ported, being remastered, we have Rome Total Wars mobile release in December 2018. And then roughly five months after that, we had Barbarian Invasion. Five months after that, we had Alexander release and then six months after that we had Rome remastered in April 2021. Now the point I'm trying to make here is that obviously porting a game over to mobile is one thing right but remastering a game is something completely different. So I think if you look at the kind of timeline of things uh, there was a team at Feral Interactive looking at porting over the Total War games to mobile while another team was looking at remastering Rome Total War for PC. Now I think it's fair to assume that if there's a team working on porting over Medieval 2 to mobile and that's going to be releasing by April this year, then I think there's probably another team looking at already remastering Medieval 2 based on the success of this mobile port. Also, if you look at the announcement, remember that all the previous mobile releases had iPhone and Android releases separately. But here, it looks like iPhone and Android is going to be released roughly at the same time, which means production is already being ramped up for something like this. It's already been in the works, even though the other team was looking at patching and updating Rome Remastered in the last like year. So again, I think it's fair to assume that a Medieval 2 Remastered is already in the works. Now, all of this, of course, is speculative. I'm just trying to think out loud here about what this announcement means for Medieval 2, uh, its future, what it could mean for more Total War games being uh, ported over to mobile or being remastered in the future as well. Uh, but I think I think this announcement, the fact that Medieval 2 is coming on mobile is a great case for its success and uh, for the future of a Medieval 2 remastered coming in the next year as well. I think that the, uh, the expansions, the Teutonic campaign, the Crusades, uh, the Americas, the Britannic campaign, these can all be ported over to mobile as well. And um, obviously, I think it'll all get it'll all get packaged up into a remaster uh, alongside the main game in the next year, as did Rome Remastered also. Uh, but I think that, you know, the fact that Rome Remastered six months after its release got a lot of support. Feral totally unlocked the modding potential of that game with uh, unlimited factions, unlimited cultures, regions, map mod ability. All these things were unlocked for that game. So the fact that a Medieval 2 is being ported over, that a Medieval 2 Remastered could be on the horizon, is is it's an amazing thing i mean looking at mods like stainless steel third age the 30 years war or broken crescent there are so many fantastic mods out there from medieval 2 right now that a lot of players are playing it's it's a fan, it's a really popular game given how old it is right and it's mainly due to those mods and to see a remaster coming and if it's done right i think feral have learned a lot from the rome remastered if it's done right then I think it's gonna it's gonna be a huge success. I think that the modders who are who are still working on a lot of these mods will look to port it over to the remaster as well and make it even better than it was before. But if you look back at the initial release of Rome Remastered, you'll remember that actually it divided the community uh, because you know it had a very clunky and weird UI. Uh, the visual upgrades were great, but obviously, you know, some of the campaign and battle AI issues were still there. Crash issues and bug issues made it unplayable for a little while. And obviously, it wasn't as moddable as Feral Interactive said it would be. We didn't have unlocked factions and cultures and regions right from the get-go. We got it six months later. So there are some reasons why we could be cautious about a Medieval 2 Remastered happening. But I'm, I'm an optimist, right? I, I like to be positive about these things. So I think that Feral Interactive have probably learned from what they did with Rome Remastered. Hopefully, they're not Creative Assembly, obviously, uh, so they won't make the same mistakes. Hopefully, if a Medieval 2 is being ported over to mobile, a Medieval 2 Remastered will come out by April next year, I think, and it will include a lot more of the modability we have right now for Rome Remastered. 
hopefully we'll have a ui that isn't as clunky and jarring hopefully we'll get a lot more upgrades in terms of campaign battle ai maybe some new features as well but ultimately i think they they kind of take a page out of stainless steel's book and uh, do a lot more with it because like i love a remaster obviously modernizing a game is a great thing but almost kind of remaking it is one step further that they could do and make it even better than it was before. Finally, guys, I want to leave you with two thoughts after this video ends. The first is that there are a lot more games out there on mobile that are far more superior than Rome Total War and Medieval 2. What I'm trying to say is that I don't think Feral Interactive will stop with Medieval 2. I think in the next few years, we'll continue to get more ports over to mobile. We'll get Empire, we'll get Napoleon, we might even get Shogun 2 or Rome 2. Just think about it. And all of this could lead to more remasters in the future as well. I mean, dare I say Attila remastered to make it more optimized? And the very final thought I want to leave you with is that Medieval 2 being ported over to mobile and its success could mean that we get a Medieval 3 Total War by creative assembly it could show that if a lot of people are playing it a lot of people buy into it creative assembly say right actually the market really is there this proves it the terminator has been talking about it for months we need to start getting on it and making a medieval 3 total war asap and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i really do hope you are as excited as i am for medieval 2 coming to mobile i think there's a great case here for medieval 2 coming to pc and mac as a remaster as well despite some of the issues that rome remastered launched with i think feral interactive have learned a lot from that first remaster that they'll use in medieval 2 as well and i'm really hoping that it comes in the next year because i cannot wait for creative assembly to look at all of this and say medieval 3 is absolutely possible if you did enjoy the video guys do give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below let me know what you think about medieval 2 coming to mobile in the next few months and a potential medieval 2 being remastered in the next year as well i'd love to hear all your thoughts i'm super into engaging with you in the comment section so let me know your thoughts and questions subscribe for more total war content gameplay and news just like this Hit that bell button for notifications and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.